so sorry. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. An emotional meeting this afternoon, more than 20 years in the making. A woman who inadvertently helped send an innocent man to prison meets the family who continues to suffer. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Borda. And I'm Chris Salcedo. Doug has the evening off. The family of Timothy Cole says they harbor no ill feelings toward a woman partially responsible for his conviction. Cole died in prison of asthma complications. Today the two sides met in, in Fort Worth and CBS celebrities Mark Johnson was there. And we never believed that. Don't cry, don't cry, because you make me cry. It's a tearful embrace, 22 years in the making. Meeting them and seeing how nice and forgiving are, I mean, I just, just thought they'd hate me. I really did. Michelle Malin and Ruby Session share a unique story filled with tragedy. Get over this. I know it's hard, but you didn't do anything wrong. You, did, you didn't do anything wrong. Session's son, Timothy Cole, was convicted of raping Malin in 1986. Both were students at Texas Tech University in Lubbock. Malin picked Cole out of a lineup. Physical evidence was not used in the trial. Cole was offered probation for admittance of guilt, but refused. In 1999, he died in prison after serving 13 years of his 25-year sentence. Recent DNA testing proved Cole was not the rapist. It still hurts me to know that, you know, my what you know that I pointed him out that it's still I mean I'm always gonna have that guilt I mean it, and I don't think it's gonna ever stop because it's just you know I mean a man died in prison and he was wrongfully convicted the session family and Malin got in contact with each other after Cole's death now they're working to get the case reopened for him to be vindicated and exonerated one day when I get that from Rick Perry or whomever I'll be all right Timothy Cole's family hopes that that will occur during the next legislative session. They know it will be a long road, but they're prepared for the battle all the way to the end. Reporting in Fort Worth, Mark Johnson, CBS 11 News. The Texas Innocence Project is taking up the Sessions family's case for justice. If Timothy Cole is exonerated, he'll be the first in Texas to be cleared posthumously. So I know I didn't commit the offense, and I know... Uh, if I just kept fighting the truth, it would eventually come about. Johnny Lindsay today became the 20th man from Dallas County to be released because of DNA evidence. Lindsay also met his son, whom he hadn't seen since he was a baby. Lindsay served more than 25 years in prison for aggravated rape. His attorney blames a faulty police photo lineup and eyewitness misidentification for the conviction.